Hello, good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, we will wait for the rest of your classmates. Okay, guys, so we will start. Okay. Hello, 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 Sabrina. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello Nelson. How are you? Fine. Fine, and you, teacher? Good. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. Hello, Hello Mr. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Thank you for joining on time. Hi, Melissa. Melissa and Christian is joining. Well, are joining right now. Um, so once they join, we will start the class, guys. <laughs> Okay, so guys, let me go through the attendance list. We will start right now the class. This is 8.01, okay? And we are enough, so we start the class, guys. One second, and I will go through the attendance list. So, ayúdenme a poner todo su nombre, su cámara encendida, guys. Y... Me dicen presente, ¿ok? Okay, uh, Angela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Today is the 17th, right? Okay. Uh, Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present, teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Okay. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. 
Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Good evening. Good evening, Luis. Milton Hernández Sola. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Rosa Acalia Conrado Quijada. Sabrina Lisette García Orellana. Present. Jessica Melissa Oya Cisneros. Present. Surma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Glenda Maricela Cuellar Martínez. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, so thank you very much for joining on time and for being on the class today, guys. I thank you for your attendance and we will start with the class. Let me get a second and let me share the screen. Okay, so guys, today we got a new top. Well, this is not a new topic, but they, this will be a review about the imperatives. I know previous uh, set, well, previous cars, we started to, to review this topic, which is the imperative. So this session will be like a kind of review about the imperatives, okay? This is the class 18. And before to continue, guys, we will, con uh, before to start, excuse me, we will continue with the be going to, okay? But before to continue, les quiero nada más eh, comentar, guys. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes estaban haciendo los ejercicios de be going to, la, la tarea, ¿verdad? Y algunos les estaba dando inconvenientes. Eh, había una en especial que una compañera de ustedes me dijo de que tenía como un pequeño errorcito que se tenía que repetir. Yo creo que era la número cuatro, si no me equivoco. Entonces solamente, guys, cuando las hagan, eh, ustedes nada más van a completar lo que haga falta. Sí, eh, por ejemplo, ya les digo, por ejemplo, dice, en la número uno dice, he, dice, his friend, y entre paréntesis está, to phone, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que usted va a hacer es completarlo nada más, no lo va a escribir todo nuevamente, sino que lo va a completar, y poner he, y la respuesta sería, is going to phone, y solo eso va a poner. Lo demás ya está en la oración, ¿sí? Porque si usted pone toda la oración, le va a marcar como mala. Recuérdese también el punto es muy importante y creo que en la número cuatro es que hay el problema de que usted tiene que volver a poner lo que es el sujeto, si no me equivoco. Ahorita lo veo. Give me a second, guys para que no vayan a tener esa mala. Si es en la número 4, donde dice you a picnic next Tuesday. Y entre paréntesis, entre paréntesis yeah. dice to have. Entonces, ahí lo que tenemos que hacer, guys, es que se tiene que poner de nuevo el you. ¿Ok? Porque por alguna razón hay un error, entonces... O repitan de nuevo el sujeto, aunque se contradiga lo que yo le estoy diciendo, porque yo le digo, si hace you ahí, si ya está el complement, ya no se lo ponga, sino que usted va a complementar la oración, nada más. Pero en ese caso dice you a picnic next Tuesday, entonces usted va a poner otra vez el you y va a poner lo que le hace falta a la oración y ya con eso la va a tener buena. De hecho, en estas respuestas no va a poner punto porque el punto ya está puesto en la oración, ¿verdad? Entonces, solamente lo que haga falta en la oración. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta de esa tarea que es la número 17. 
No, no preguntas, guys. Ok, cualquier cosa me mandan un mensajito al WhatsApp y yo con gusto les ayudo. Eh, ok, so guys, just as a review about be going to, uh, the structure of be going to, it's subject, verb to be, going to plus infinitive. This will be for the affirmative. For example, I am, I am going to visit my sister next Saturday or I'm going to visit my sister next Saturday, okay? In negative, uh, we have the subject, we have the verb to be, we have not, le ponemos el not en medio del verb to be, en, y, perdón, en medio del verb to be y going to, más el infinitivo. So we say, Sara is then going to wear a dress at the party, okay? Y en yes, no question, an interrogative form, Sería verb to be, subject, going to, and infinitive. Al principio siempre ponemos el, el verb to be. Ok, listo, te quiero. Los de, guys, ¿pueden ver ustedes la pantalla? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Me voy a pasar. So... Bueno, Patricia, thank Pero you for letting us know. Gracias. Ok. Bueno, entonces, como les mencionaba, guys, eh, tenemos el interrogative form que sería con el verb to be. Empezamos con el verb to be. Are, después sería el sujeto, y si es tercera, tercera persona, es is. Is she going to paint their I mean, her bathroom. Um, yes, she is or no, she isn't. Okay. Recuerden que acá para responder en la short question, short answer, sorry, va a utilizar los mismos que utilizaba en el verb to be. Okay. So, questions about the structure of the verb to be, guys? questions right i know yesterday we practiced so guys do me a favor and open the page 41 okay open the page 41 let me open it for you here page 41 so uh i have this conversation here all right this conversation and this conversation is the one that we already practiced yesterday right and I just want to ask you about this conversation, guys. Do you happen to have any vocabulary that you, you don't know? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta del vocabulario? ¿Todo bien con esa conversación? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, guys, let's have okay. just two minutes. Dígame, Nelson. Not no, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let's have two, more, two minutes right now to read the conversation again. Veamos la conversación de nuevo. Tengamos dos minutos para leerla. Y luego vamos a responder las preguntas. Bueno, no las preguntas, sino que el cuadrito que está abajo, donde vamos a llenar esa información. Ok. So, usted va a llenar esta ficha que está acá y va a poner el nombre del agent, el nombre del guest. El check-in, a qué hora va a entrar, and check-out, a qué hora va a salir del hotel, si es una single or double room, ¿ok? ¿Qué página estamos, teacher? We are in the page 41. Sí. Page 41. So, guys, let's have two minutes to read the conversation and five minutes in total. Cinco minutos para leer la conversación de nuevo. Yo sé que el día de ayer nosotros la leímos todos juntos, pero volvamos a leerla y llenamos la ficha que está abajo. Please, this one. Just this one.
Guys, let me know whenever you finish, okay? Me avisan cuando finalice. Answer the the short the form that we have here. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got the agent. What is the name of agent, guys? What is the name agent? James. Jim, right? Okay. What is the name guest? Eduardo Gomez. Gomez. All right, Gerardo Gomez is the guest name. All right, what a, what time is the check-in? Oh, when is the check-in? When? On Friday. Friday, 14. 14. 
Friday the 14th. And when is the checkout? Monday, Monday the 17th. 17th. Monday? 17th. 17th. Very good. Great. Perfect. Okay. Is it a single room or a double room? A single room. Single. Single. Very good. Ooh, it is a single run, okay. Very good, guys, sorry. Okay, so guys, uh, thank you for this reading. I just want to share with you these uh, two more options for you to use, okay? Anteriormente, guys, yo sé que estábamos hablando de... Que, give me a second. Mm, let me close that. Ok, estábamos hablando de, uh, por ejemplo, en este caso, would like to. Would like, sorry. Would like. Ese es, guys, solamente acá para FYI, ok, para su información, guys. Eh, I would like to es una forma formal también de pedir algo, ¿sí? Eso lo vimos en el curso pasado. Acá dice, use would like to for a very polite request. El would like to, guys, se parece mucho, eh, would like, sorry, se parece mucho al would you mind to, ok, would you mind to. Eh, porque se usa para un polite request, es very polite request, ok. So, solamente para que lo sepan, como le dijimos anteriormente, hay distintos niveles, ¿verdad?, de formalidad que ustedes pueden ocupar. Y una de ellas, guys, es would like to, que si ustedes se fijan, está hasta, hasta arriba, que significa que es un nivel más educado y más formal de pedir algo igual al would you mind to. Pero también existen otros dos niveles, además del could, ¿verdad?, que ya lo discutimos. El cool vendría estando acá, miren. Ahorita se los, se los pongo. El cool vendría estando acá, abajito del, de este. Cool. Hay muchos más como el Ken, pero ahorita solamente vamos a discutir los que ya vimos. So, el cool viene estando acá y el would you mind, would you mind to, lo pondría yo arriba. Ok, super formal. Ok, entonces tenemos el would you mind to, would like to, could, y tenemos dos extras acá, guys. Y este dos extras que tenemos, en, tenemos el need, sorry. Tenemos el need y tenemos el want, ok. So el need, guys, y el want son bastante informales, ok. Aunque el want es súper informal, es como que pues no tengamos mucho, uh, sorry que se escuche de esa manera, pero como que no tengamos mucha educación, ¿verdad? Al momento de estar diciendo las cosas. Es como que usted vaya al hotel y, dice, y diga, quiero una reservación. Entonces si se escucha como bien algo pesadito, ¿verdad? Lo cual es muy diferente si utilizamos otro tipo de estructura, como por ejemplo yo diga, yo necesito una reservación. Yo necesito una, una, una reservación, ya va subiendo de nivel. Y si yo le digo, eh, could you please help me with the, res with the booking or with the reservation? Would you like um, to help me with the reservation or... Uh, would you mind helping me with a reservation? Se fijan, va subiendo más de nivel. Si sí, eso quiere decir, dependiendo de la formalidad con la que usted quiera hablar también, ¿sí? Porque usted no va a utilizar el need y el want con su jefe o con otra persona que usted probablemente está atendiendo en su trabajo. Entonces hay que tener cuidado, guys, en estas dos formas, pero... Es muy importante que ustedes la sepan, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden decir, I need to make a reservation. I want to make a reservation. Lo pueden hacer claro que sí. Y no es que la verdad sean groseros, groseros. Simplemente es, ¿verdad? La formalidad 
y la educación, creería yo, de cada uno. Sí, entonces, it's all up to you, pero ustedes lo pueden ocupar también en su, en, ¿qué? Cuando están tratando con amigos, con familia, dependiendo de la confianza, ustedes lo pueden ocupar ahí, ¿ok? So, solamente para confirmarles, ustedes pueden decir el want, que significa yo quiero, y need, que significa yo necesito. Yo necesito una, una, hacer una reservación o yo quiero hacer una reservación. Ok, so este es como un pequeño review que quería resaltar. And let's continue. Ok, let's continue. No me voy a, no voy a parar mucho acá ni les voy a dar muchos ejemplos porque solamente quiero que sepan la diferencia. That's it, guys. Si en algún momento ustedes lo escuchen, sepan de que es más eh, informal. So, guys, um, la um, estructura de Be Going To, se, ya se la saben, el día de ayer pues estábamos practicando mucho. Solamente tengo unos ejemplos por acá en afirmativo. I am going to arrive on Friday the 14th. I am going o I'm going to stay until Monday. Uh, Mrs. Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April the 14th. In negative form, Mrs. Puenten is not going to fly to Cuba, Cuba on the 14th. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday 13th. Y si quiero hacer una yes no question que estábamos haciendo ayer, are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? Are you going to make a reservation for a single or a double room? Okay? Guys, muy importante, quiero que se den cuenta de algo acá. Dice, in a smoking or no smoking room, ¿ok? Si ustedes se fijan, la palabra room, guys, ya no la vuelve a repetir. ¿Por qué ya no la vuelve a repetir? Porque realmente, igual vamos a decir smoking room and non smoking room. Y en inglés cuando pasa eso, dejamos la última, el último nombre para especificar de ult. Uh, el nombre que se va a repetir, perdón, de último de la oración. En vez de estar diciendo eh, smoking room, en non smoking room y evitar repetirlo de nuevo porque el inglés así es, muy conciso y muy breve, se dice al final. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo acá, miren. Dice, are you going to make the reservation for a single? O a double room. Ya se entiende acá que cuando yo digo single, se está hablando de una room. Porque le estoy preguntando, for a single or a double room. ¿Ok? Así que pues eso es para no caer en repetición porque el inglés es así. ¿Ok? Así que de último se hace, se especifica. ¿Ok? De qué se está hablando para no irlo repitiendo. En una secuencia de palabras donde realmente tiene relación siempre el mismo nombre, entonces lo dejamos de último. Questions about these guys? Preguntas? No questions? Ok, so information questions guys, ayer, ayer poco lo vimos, creo que solamente vi un par de ejemplos de information question, pero realmente no es nada del otro mundo, lo único que tenemos que hacer es poner el WH question al principio y continuar como que si fuera una yes no question, como esta, miren. Lo único que vamos a hacer es poner al principio el WH. For example, how long are you going to stay? When are you going to arrive? ¿Ok? Puedo decir acá, are you going to arrive late? ¿Ok? Ahí sería una yes no question. Con short answer. Pero si yo quiero obtener más información, yo digo, when are you going to arrive? arrive. Where are you going to arrive? ¿Ok? So, etc. So, eso es parte también de la estructura, guys. Eh, recuerden, el día de ayer sí practicamos mucho. So, este nada más es un repasito. Ahorita, guys, vamos a tratar de ordenar estas palabras. Order the words to create sentence and questions. It can be questions or sentence depending on what you have here. Okay? If you see a question mark, let's put the question mark. Okay, if you don't see the question mark, then it's going to be a 
an affirmative sentence or a negative sentence. So let's go ahead and unscramble those, those sentences, okay? About schedule activities, schedule activities. Schedule activities son actividades que ya se han agendado. Por eso estamos ocupando el be going to, porque ya hay un plan anteriormente a esto, ¿ok? Así que, guys, uh, let's do it right now. Uh, we will do this exercise in three, um, I mean, in groups of three, guys, ayúdense. Si yo los pongo en grupos es para que ustedes ayuden, ¿sí? Así que discutan. Hey, uh, Ismael, what do you have in a number two? Oh, I have this and that. Okay, what, what, what about you, um, Fatima? Oh, yes, I have it like that. Okay, okay. What, what do you think is the best? Uh, is the best? Oh, I believe the best one is this. Okay, great. So, guys, le voy a poner un desafío en este momento a todos. Sí. Depende de ustedes si lo sigue. No depende de mí. Okay. So, el desafío para poder hacer estas este ejercicio es el siguiente voy a ser mejor parejas ok, voy a ser mejor parejas así no nos confundimos mucho y en parejas yo necesito que usted mantenga el ambiente en inglés English uh, English environment ok, only English environment only Traten de hacer todo lo posible que mientras estén con su pareja no utilicen nada de inglés, pero nada. Si usted quiere decir Solo algo español. de verdad, no entiende. Español. Solo español. Perdón, nada de español. Si usted de verdad no, 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 en ese momento dice no, yo no sé cómo decirle esto. Busquen lo aunque sea, aunque sea en el traductor, vaya, aunque sea, no es lo recomendable. Pero aunque sea, búsquenlo en el traductor para usted tener una idea de cómo poderlo decir. Pero no, no Spanish at all, ¿ok? No Spanish. Solo voy a mover a los breakout rooms. Y, and if you want to ask somebody a question, well, your partner a question, ask the person in English, ¿ok? If Marcos, if Marcos is talking in Spanish, you let me know. And I'll go ahead and, and, and remove it from the break room, okay? No, Marcos, I'm kidding, okay? I know Marcos will do it. So, guys, keep it in English, okay? Keep it in English. I know it will be dif it will be difficult for you, but let's try to do it, okay? Okay, serious Spanish. Serious Spanish from now on. We will go ahead and say zero Spanish until nine, okay? Zero Spanish until nine. No Spanish until nine o'clock. Spanish with the English. Just English. And if you want to ask me a question, English only until nine o'clock, okay? So if someone speaks uh, Spanish, I will say, I don't speak Spanish, sorry. <laughs> okay, we will say that, you will say that. I don't speak Spanish, sorry, okay? Please, guys, that will help you a lot. That will help you a lot, okay? Um, that will help you to be out of the comfort zone because you are in the comfort zone right now. Because sometimes you said, okay, I don't know what to say right now in, in, in English, so let me say that in Spanish, and that's it. So now let's keep it in English. Let's keep it in English, okay? Until night. So for making these exercises, well, for doing these exercises right now, for an scramble these sentences, we have 10 minutes, okay? 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Okay, you can ask your partner in English, all right, in English, no in Spanish. So let me make the breaker rooms. Um, let me share with you the screenshot in the group. I don't know if I, oh yes, I already sent it to you, the screenshot. Remember, order the words in order to make a sentence or to make a question using be going to. 
if you have any question, you ask me or you can ask your classmate, okay? In English, just in English, guys. In English only, I know you can do it. So let me open the breaker rooms. How many are we? We're 17, so we are 16. You are 16. So let me open nine breakout rooms in case there is someone that comes or someone to join. Um, okay. I'm opening the breakout rooms. Angela, uh, Angela Estefania, please go with Jaime. Then uh, Lucy. Please, let's go with one second. Rosa Acalia. And then Marcos, please go with Luis. Okay, then Sulma Jarixa, let's go with Ismael, then Sabrina, you go with Patricia Eugenia, Melissa, you will go with Christian. Uh, then Fatima, you will go with, I have three people here, so you will go together, okay? Jose Nelson, Patricia, and Fatima, you three are together. Please click on join, guys. Click on join. Let's see. Let me close all your rooms. No, no, no. Sorry. Mr. Turcios is going to check out tomorrow in the four. Oh, I don't know. Okay. The exercise. Page four. Yes, I can hear you. Hello. Jaime, you don't yes. understand Spanish, Jaime. Hello. That's English. <laughs> Teacher, es que, es que no entiendo qué vamos a hacer, es que estaba en, en una tutoría de la universidad. Oh, ok, we will speak in Spanish, I mean in English only, English, no Spanish, all right? Um, I already sent a picture on the group, and this picture is about what we will do. We will order some sentences that are in disorder right now. So let's open the WhatsApp group, and you will find a picture there, okay? Okay, this teacher. exercise, Stefania. Stefania is this one. Stefania, you will order these words. Ah, okay, teacher. Thank you. Remember, Jaime, you don't speak Spanish, all right? You don't understand it at all. You either, you neither, Stefania. I don't understand Spanish. Ah, uh, we don't That's English. understand, yes. <laughs> in English. Uh, in English only. Thank you, All guys. English. No, teacher, um, I, feel, I feel good because I, I'm talking with the... So, it's a principal in the EVM, and I, I talk with him. And I 
I tried and I see. Uh, it. it worked. It yes, worked. I, really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Congratulations. How do you feel? Did okay. you feel nervous or do um, you feel that you could do it? So I I stop at, at think the words. <laughs> ah, but that's okay. I mean, you're learning. But you never step, uh, stay quiet, right? You continue with the conversation even though it was... Maybe there was a mistake because at the very beginning, that's what happened. You made mistakes, but then you are understood. The other person is understand is understanding you, so that's the good thing. So let's let's keep it up, Jaime. I know you can do it. You can do it better. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay. Linda will be observing you guys. Okay. Okay. It is with the MR, but is MS. Okay. No. No, porque no, y no lleva sí. ningún. Okay. Ningún. No, no lleva Spanish, el, el guys. Teacher. No, no Spanish. Sorry, but it needs to be in, in English. I know you can. Try it, please. ¿Qué vamos a decir? Try it, try it, Patricia. I know you can. Remember now, so you don't speak in Spanish, okay? Fatima okay. and Patricia, you say, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Patricia, you can do it. You can start with a small words, with simple words, okay? Simple words. You can say, okay, number one. Number one, guys, or number, number one, Nelson. Tell uh, me. Okay, Patricia. Uh, number, number three, Patricia. Very good. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, a small words. A small words no tienen que hablar. No tienen, sorry que hablen español, pero no tienen que hablar mucho, ¿verdad? So, number one. Okay, okay. What is first? Um, I believe is. Let me see the number one. Y solamente van diciendo las palabritas que lleva, ¿verdad? Sin decir tanta cosa, solo dice, por ejemplo, ok, number one, number one. Um, when, ok, when. Um, are you going uh -huh, to arrive to Dallas? Yes, no. Mm, no. Why? Mm, yes, yes, ok, ok. Number two. Basic words, ¿ok? Palabras básicas. Yo sé que puede hacerlo, Patricia, pero si nunca lo intenta, you never won't, I mean, you will never do it. I know you can, ¿ok? Los okay. dos. Fátima, you too, ¿ok? Right? Simple words. Palabras simples. Ok, number one. Um, ok, when. Um, then uh, are. Ajá, you. Ahí solo lo van leyendo las palabras que ustedes creen que van en orden. Yes. Okay. I know you can do it, Patricia. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Otherwise. No, teacher. Wow, there is a good, there is a bad silence here. <laughs> like if you don't want to if you don't want to make mistakes that's why you don't talk right <laughs> teacher we 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 are in silence but in but in english mm. it's an, it's silence. <laughs> this is like if you tell me okay i'm thinking in english <laughs> uh -huh, yeah <laughs> come on Serena, practice practice okay yes, we are uh, going, we are going we we're practicing. You're practicing. Okay, Patricia, yes. what do you have in the number one? Ah, I have, what are you going to? Ah, okay. Mm, yes, it's right. Mm, no, I believe it's, it's like that. And you read your part. Help each other. Help each other, guys. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Luis, is your internet connection good or is it still not working? Sorry? Is your internet good or is not working? Your internet connection, internet. No? Um, it's good. 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 Ah, okay. Great. Who's, who's Alf Alonso Luis then? Who's Alonso Luis? Uh, no idea, teacher. <laughs> I thought it was you. Oh, it's Milton. He's Milton. I'm not Alonso. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I... Oh, yes, Luis Ernesto, I said. But Marcos is speaking in, in, in English, right? Marcos? Yes. Uh, uh, he is speaking English. He speaks in English. He speaks in English. Ah, okay. All day he speaks in English, teacher. Ah, all day. All right. I, I will do send the, send the messenger in WhatsApp. It wasn't as bad. Ah, no, I'm kidding, Marcos. I know, I know. Congratulations. So let's continue. If you have any question, let me know, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Conference. On October. Uh, on October 10th. October 10th. But the last one? The last one, I think is Miss Diaz. Miss Diaz is, is going, going to be in a uh, low smoking room. In room, that's right. Miss Diaz is going to need a non smoking room. Mr. Crucius is going to check out, out tomorrow. Yes, Miss Turcius is going to check out tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh. And the five is question. Uh, the call. Um, then mm -hmm. I call oh, records. Records. Mm -hmm. Six. Um, five. Five. I. Um. I. Um. Mm -hmm. Request. Um. Five. Hey, um. yes. Fatima. Hey, I'm Fatima, are you there? Call calls for request. Um, six, uh, pardon. Six, 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Wow. I'm proud, I'm proud of you guys. Oh, well. Fatima is Five, here, hey, guys. Um. Is Fatima here? Yes. Fatima. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Fatima. Very good, guys. Thank you. You're you're amazing, okay? You're good. Number four is number three. No, I say four. Yes. Yes, yes, it's starting in Tuesday. Maybe can finally tomorrow. Oh. Sorry, bitch. <laughs> Obligation, but it's necessary. Mm -hmm. That's really necessary. Yeah. Request is the first. Um, I'm going to request. I'm going to request. I'm going to request for me for no for call. Uh, uh, 
Mm. Awake call. Awake. 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 Wake up call. Sorry, I am. For 5 a.m. I am. Okay, I after the quiz, a four four or oh, 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 after left chip. Left chip. In Spanish, verifiquemos. Number three. Yes. Okay. I'm going to. I. I going to. Yes. Mm. Where I go, we go, go for we up call for I wake up call for five five a.m. The wake up call is a service at hotel. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Can we finish? Yes, perfect. Okay, perfect. I finished, teacher. Wow, excellent job, guys. Congratulations. Very good, okay? I write this. Very Spanish. good. <laughs> I know you're practicing English and congratulations, guys. I know we can do it, okay? I know we can do it and we will do it at the end. So just give me just a... Oh, let's come back to the main room. Let me join you to the main room and let me see the other groups to see if they already finished. So let's wait for me in the main room, okay, guys? Thank you. Okay. okay, okay. Great job, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, we did finish. you finish? Great. I will finish, move you teacher. to the main room, okay? I will move okay, you to the main room. Just wait for me there. Okay, teacher. Good job, guys. Okay, Congratulations, teacher. okay? Thank you. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt you girls. Did you finish? <laughs> yes. Very good. Yes, Thank you and congratulations. You did an amazing job with the English environment. Okay. I will move you to the main room. Okay. No. No? No, yeah. Well, maybe it's, it's like uh it's like a here. It's it's very hot all day. And all night. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, guys, girls, la voy a mover a, a la main room. Okay. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Bye, yeah. Rose. Thank nice you. to meet Bye. you. See you. <laughs> Good <laughs> job, girls. Good thank job. You. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yes, nephew, nephew. Teacher, how do you say in English? So, um, the daughter of my sister, niece, niece, uh, so niece. she is my niece, 
And also she is five years old, nine years old. Ah, okay. And you? Huh? No. Uh, no, I, I... Yes, subject, Mr. Diaz. Mr. Diaz is yes. subject. Mr. Uh, Ms. Diaz? Is going... Guys, did you finish? Yes? No, teacher. No? No, no teacher. Teacher? Yes? Uh, the sentence uh, are question or affirmative? It depends. It depends. I believe the majority of them are sentences. But let's verify if you have a WH question, then it's a question. But if you don't have it, it is a it is a normal sentence. Affirmative. Okay. Let's check it out. Check check them out. Some of them might be affirmative and some of them might be in negative. Check them out. What number are you right now, guys? What number are you? Uh, number five. Which one? Number five. Ah, okay. One more minute, guys. One more minute, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. $15. Yes, in a mom's, uh, $100, but only to my half, to my work, to my half, to my work, to my half, to my work. Um, Sometime uh, Sunday, I going to other place, but it's extra, extra money. It's very important. It's super important. Okay. Eh, me permite un momentito, ya vuelvo. Excellent. Ya voy a volver. Guys, did you finish? Yes. Yes, finish. teacher, finish. Great. Yeah, yeah, yes. Congratulations, guys. Very good, okay? Let's come back thank to the you, main room. Yes, I understand. Hola. Yeah. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Hola. Problem is my Teacher, you. do you have the tour of the microphone? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, guys. How was the practice? Was it easy, difficult? How do you feel? Very nice. Very nice, nice teacher. We, we came nice. back and, and we are talking with, with, with my partner. <laughs> Me too. Me Sorry. Too <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know guys, I know you were practicing and wow, oh my God, you are amazing. You were practicing like more and more, even though you already finished, but you continue okay. practicing and you were not the only I. ones, almost all of them continue practicing. E. So that's great, okay? Great, great guys. So we will try to keep it like that, guys. Um, oh. Well, almost, not almost all the time, but the time that we can, okay? As much as we can, as much as we can. So one day you will be, you will be getting accustomed to that, okay? You will feel it is normal. You will feel comfortable, okay? That's the purpose, okay? That is the purpose. You will go to an intermediate soon, okay? You are not gonna be in basic anymore. So you will be getting into a custom that very soon. So congratulations to all of you and a round of clap for you guys. Uh, I know you could do it. I know you could do it by this time. You could do it and you can continue doing it. Okay, so good job. All right, so guys, let me go through the attendance list. Let me go and, and, and go through the attendance list. Just one moment. Jose Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present, teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortez. 
Teacher. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present teacher. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present. Milton Hernández Sola. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present teacher. Rosa Acalia Conrado Quijada. Present teacher. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Jessica Melisa Hoya Cisneros. Present. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. A Glenda Marisela Cuellar Martínez. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. Present teacher. Fátima, today is the one-on-one -on -one session with you, okay? Could you please stay until the end of the class? Ten minutes, Fátima? Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Fátima. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Very good, very good, guys. Okay, so let's, let's share the screen. Let me see. Let's make sure that we have those correct ones, okay? Please help me out to make these sentences and to check them out, okay? So number, let's see, number two, guys. Could you please help me to make the number two? Are you going to make a reservation you are? conference room? Are you going to make a reservation for you are going to the conference room? room? Okay. For you conference are room. going to make a reservation for the conference room. <laughs> We can say that in both ways. Mm, let me see. Because number one, we don't have a question mark. We don't have a question mark here, so we don't know. I mean, but there is a WH question, so obviously it was a question, but there was no question mark. So I can say, guys, that we can do both, okay? We can do both, but let's put the, the, the affirmative, okay? But both are correct, okay? Both are correct for me. You are going to make, right? A reservation. What else, guys? For the conference. For the conference room. For the conference room. What else? That's it? Video. Okay, so we can say you're going to make a reservation for the conference room or are you going to make the reservation for the conference room? Both ways for me are correct. Okay, both ways. Good, guys. Number three. I am going to request makeup call for 5 a.m. Very good. Good job. One moment. I'm going to going to wake up call. Sure. Yes. I'm going to request. Wake up call. Request. Request. Wake up. Wake up call. A wake up call or wake up call? A wake up call. A wake up call. 
call. A wake up call. Uh -huh. For five For a.m. 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 Four. Four. What thing? Five a.m. Five a.m. Okay, very good. Okay, in this in this sentence, guys, there's no way to to put a net. I mean, to make a question because of, because of the I am. We're sure that it's an affirmative question, affirmative sentence. Okay, affirmative. That's it. Okay, number four. Mrs. Turcios is going to chat out tomorrow. Mrs. Turcios? Teacher, teacher, are you not going to? Sorry? Is going to? Request away. Number four. Is going to? Check out. Check out. Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Good job. Okay, number five. Uh, minus the, 10. The conference is going. Is going. Uh -huh. The maintenance team is going to attend a conference on October. Attend the conference in October. Teacher, no, if the conference is going. Sorry, guys, I was sneezing. So, uh, the maintenance room, the maintenance team, sería. Yeah. Maintenance team. Uh, is going to attend. plural. Maintenance team. No. No, guys, because remember what I told you yesterday. Whenever we have a collective noun, the, I mean, we don't care to count them because we don't know how many are they. That's why, that's why in collective nouns we use is, like my family, my team, the maintenance team, okay, Coca-Cola, Okay, Coca-Cola team, okay? So it is, the main thing is going to attend a conference. Attend conference on. On October 10th. A conference. A conference. A conference. A conference on October. On October. October. The 10th, right? Okay. The maintenance team is going to attend a conference on October the 10th. Yes, for me, it's very, very correct. Okay. So, what about the number six? Yes. Ms. Diaz is going to need a non-smoking room. He's going to need, right? A non-smoking non room. Okay. Okay, good job, guys. I ran a flash for you, okay? Good job. Okay, guys, so now this is what... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if you will be copying that. Are you going to copy that? Are you going to copy that, guys? No, teacher. No? Okay. Oh, teacher. Okay, guys, so now let's continue with this um, page. Do me a favor okay. and go to the exercise number six. Okay, exercise number six. One second. Please, just one moment. Thank you. 
Okay, sorry guys. Let's go. I believe we were on that page, right? Already. Yes, let me see 42. Yes, this is the page uh, 42. Let me see. Okay, so guys, um, I would like to ask you guys if you might be having a question regarding going to, be going to, do you have any question? Question about be going to guys? A teacher for me is clear. For you is clear? What about it's okay, teacher. It's okay? Amazing guys. If you have any question or you want any extra practice, let me know, okay? I will be more than happy to help you with more practice, with more material, uh, more of more exercises, etc. Okay, you let me know. So, guys, uh, now let's talk about another topic. We will talk about travel plans. Well, we're talking about travel plans. Sorry, but I would like to ask you a question, guys. Are you good at reading maps? That whenever you're lost and you're looking for an address, or you look, you're trying to get a direction of how to get a place. Are you good at reading maps? I'm not good reading maps. <laughs> I'm not good. I prefer just to put the GPS and that's <laughs> put the GPS on my phone and that's it. What about you guys? Are you good at reading maps? No? Yes or no? Yes, I am good for reading maps. You're good? Great. What about yes. the I'm, other one? I'm no? very bad teacher. I'm <laughs> very bad. And I'm if, bad I give, well. if I give instruction or direction, uh, the people lose always. <laughs> I, I send you, uh, I send them the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> so people will, will I'm feel- really losing their neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so people you will feel- <laughs> I can use waste. Yes, we can use it. <laughs> For the ones I, that I, cannot I, I, just, I, just, I, lost, I just use taxi. <laughs> I am lost when I I use the waste or wool map. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Okay, guys. So uh do you usually ask for direction to locate places? Do you usually ask for directions whenever you're looking lo locate, I mean, locate places? Here in El Salvador, for example, if you go to downtown or if you go to any other city like Sonsonate, Chalatenango, do you ask for direction? No. No? Not sure. I use ways. I know. All in Salvador. Qué humilde. Ah. But how do you say humilde in English? The Salvador is is modesto. Modest. <laughs> Mr. Jaime is so modest. Teacher, but but with the application, for example, with map or with ways, do you need to ask for direction? You don't need to ask, that's true. But I believe, well, in my case, I I I do both of them. I mean, I use the the waste because Google Maps is always directing you to another places that they don't exist. <laughs> Sometimes they are not updated. Like there is an, a street and you go there, but there is no way to continue to that street, okay? So that's... I don't know, but I don't like that. I don't like that. And sometimes waste, I don't know what's going on with that app. And sometimes it's not working for me. So maybe that's, maybe with me it's not working bad. I prefer to use that. But guys, I believe that here in El Salvador, we need to ask for direction or not for direction, but at least to know the other people's opinion because we don't know the place. So people can say, oh, be careful. It's dangerous there. You can go to the other way. 
<laughs> so that's what I always ask because of that. People can um, maybe warn you that about is any. That doesn't appear on ways. That doesn't appear on ways. That's right. Dangerous. Yes, the, here is still on till the phone, the shoes, and everything. <laughs> exactly. And I really love that because it is telling you what, what is happening next, right? So I really love ways for this, but yes, I prefer always us, right? I mean, whenever you're trying to get like a place that is not on ways, for example, okay, where is the... How do you say that? Let me see. Let, let me think about one thing. Um, carnitas, carnitas, Alfredo, I don't know. Maybe it is not in ways, right? So you better ask. So some places are not in ways, so you, you, sh you need to ask someone else. But when you ask, for example, in this case, a uh, uh, people said that uh, in the fifth street on the fourth avenue, yeah, you would tell me what. I don't know what is the first street or the first four avenue. Exactly, they don't know don't that. Know. The people know. No, that that is a good the, point. Christian say a good point. I, I don't know the, the number of the street. Sorry, Mr. Jaime. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, he's humble. He's humble. <laughs> oh, he closed yeah, the microphone and said, don't worry. Oh. <laughs> now he is humble. Felix is the gentleman. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, Sabrina is, ha is humble. Sorry, humble. The the question that you asked me, humble, humilde. Yes, yes, modesto. Modest and ha and humilde is humble. Humble. Uh -huh. humble. Sorry, let me let me just turn off the fan because it's teasing me. Guys, yo soy ese tipo de personas que siempre. No más pongo el ventilador y ya. Yo no sé cómo se dice eso en inglés, la verdad, sorry, pero <ríe> ni sé si de verdad está correcto decir, pero mi abuelita me decía que me entapio, algo así. <ríe> me entapio. Usted se me tapa la nariz, pues vaya. No me amo. El teacher of language is correct to say that. ¿El qué? <ríe> o sea, to Mr. Jaime is correct to say entapio. It's a word. I don't yes, know. Yes, no, uh, no, creo que no. Yes, Se uh, me no, 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 Wow. No, it's true. It's modismo, true. Decimos, modismo. 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 La verdad que sí es modismo. Mm -hmm. Una vez yo dije, ñañarosa, creo que dije algo así. Es no todo el mundo se me quedó viendo, ¿qué es eso? Contumerioso, dije yo. ¿Qué es eso? Entonces, Ajá. Y Ahora todo no. el mundo en el trabajo, ¿qué es eso? Eso no existe. Y mi jefe, aquí no se usan palabras que no existen. Y el salvadoreño. Caliche yeah. salvadoreño, ella. Ajá. Y yo le dije, es modismo, le dije, yo es modismo salvadoreño. No, pero no me. <risa> Léxico callejero. Guay, we're in a sábado. <risa> Qué malo. No, 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 usted no es malo. <risa> sí, bebé, bebé. No, you're not me. <risa> ok, so guys, thank you. No, pero miren, tuve que ir a pagar eso. No, soy tan... So, we will continue. Marcos is so quiet today, right? Marcos is... I don't know what's going on. Marcos. I listen to the conversation my I don't believe you. Marcos... Something is happening to you. There is something that is happening to you. Ah, please, please. Please, please. Okay, guys, so let's see. Okay, let's come back to the discussion, right? 
Mm -hmm. Let's come back to the discussion. So, are you go? Are you good at giving direction to get uh, to places, guys? Are you good at giving direction? No. I'm not too sure. I bad. Yeah. The... Sorry, but I don't have a, a lot of noise. Yes, guys, do me a favor and help me with the background sound. Yo estoy tratando de adivinar what's going on, pero there is a, a, a there is. A, I know, I know he is. Hay un gran background, guys. Hay un gran noise ahorita. Lo voy a mutear un ratito. Okay, sorry. So, guys. Uh, I'm not good at giving directions, so I prefer to say, oh, put it in Google, or let me send you the direction in Google. <laughs> I will send it to you in WhatsApp. That's what I do. <laughs> I know, something like that. But okay, I I'm not good. I'm not good. So guys, today we have another review about some prepositions, okay, that so we can use. As I said, this is our review. That's why we're not gonna be investing too much time on this. And we better invest in being go be going to because it's a new topic, but uh, we will continue with the, with the class, okay, that is given to us. And uh, we got those prepositions. Please do me a favor and listen to the prepositions and then repeat, okay? Just look at the, look at the prepositions. You already know the prepositions. For example, we have next to, okay, next to, next to. The pharmacy is next to the church, okay? Repeat after me. The pharmacy is next to the church. The pharmacy is next to the church. Next to. The restaurant is in front of the pork. The restaurant, the restaurant is in front, in front of the, front of the park. park. Um, the hotel is between the... The church and the, so and the school. Uh-huh. Uh, the hotel I forget. is between... The hotel, the hotel is between the church and the supermarket. The church, the school. Sorry. <laughs> I say it's supermarket. Okay. You understood. You understood. <laughs> okay. So, another one. The school is across the street. The school is across the street. Across the street. Across the street. McDonald's. McDonald's is around the corner. Around the corner. It's around the corner. Around the corner. Um, let's see. Tifco is on on the right. Tifco is on the right. Tifco is on the right. Tifco is on the right. Is on the right. Marte Museum is on the left. Mar Marte Museum is on the left. On the left. Um, El Salvador Hospital is down the street. El Salvador Hospital is down the street. Down the street. Any questions, guys? Any questions about the preposition around the corner? A la vuelta, yes. Yes. Around the corner, yes. Uh, down the street, down the street. Bajando la calle. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, the other ones are so easy, guys. Okay, guys, so now let's take turns and read the directions that we have here. Your partner will level the places on the map, okay? So, for example, the hotel <laughs> is across the street. Hotel, okay, the hotel is here because it's across the street, across the street, okay? The gas station is around the corner. Where is the around uh, the, 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 the... Guys, ayúdame con el microphone, please. Okay, so guys, what you will do, 
right now is to label, okay? To make sure where is the place. For example, the hotel is across the street. Okay, this is the hotel, it's across the street, okay? Now your, your job is to identify where are they, okay? That's your job, where are they? ¿Dónde está, guys? Where are they? Where is the gas station? It's around the corner, okay? It's around is, the corner. Where is around the corner? What is around the corner? Uh, down the street or down the street on the left? Look at this, it's down the street on the left down the street on the left okay restaurant down the street on the left go for it go for it jaime so let's do it together okay let's do it together jaime uh, help me please with the second one the gas station is around the yes, corner okay. let's do it okay Let's yes. type in on, on the screen. Very gas good. Station. It's around the corner. The gas station is around the corner. Okay. What about the bank is next to the gas station? Who wants to help me with this? Me, teacher. Go for it, Sabrina. The van is next to the gas station. Okay, the van is next to the van station. Uh, to the gas station, sorry. Good job. What about the ATM? The ATM is down the street on the right. Down the street on the right, sorry. Down the street on the right. Melissa? You go, I, I can use that book. You go to annotate at the top of the screen. There is an option that says annotate. If you don't see the option, go to the three dots. Three dots. Let me send you a uh, picture. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Three dots and there is an option that says annotate. Then you go and click on text. I think is there. There you go. Very good. Okay. The ATM is down the street on the right. Good job. Okay. Number five. The restaurant is down the street on the left. That's so difficult, right? Lucy? The restaurant is down the street on the left. That was the more the, the most difficult for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the restaurant. Very good. Good job, guys. Okay. All right. So let's see. One moment, please. Okay, thank you guys. Um, now guys, do me a favor. Oh no, no, let me do something right now. Let me, let me share the screen. Let me stop sharing and let me share the screen. Guys, we have a review today about the imperatives. That's an easy topic because you already know it, but we will have a review, okay? Just a review about the, in, in, the let's, song. Sorry, let's have a review about the imperatives, okay? And here we have it, okay? So 
Let's see. We'll go a little bit faster because you already know the functions of the imperative sentences, but uh, I brought some functions about imperative sentences, guys. Remember, the imperative sentences are the one that doesn't have subject, okay? One of the functions for the imperative uh, sentences is imperative to use giving a direct order or comment, okay? So, Mr. Avelar know already what is a comment, right? A command in, sorry, a command. The, that word remind me to uh, a pair of, pair of trousers, no. Those were pair of, Pero pants, pero pants that we had in the in the past. Los pantalones comandos. Do you remember? <laughs> or los shorts. That 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 comes to my mind. Sorry. <laughs> so I remember I wear in the this pants. <laughs> I, I, yes, I remember that as well. <laughs> okay, so we use the imperatives, guys, to give direct order. Orders, for example, orders, um, but this is orders, okay? Like, Jaime, turn off the camera, okay? Esa es una orden, turn off the camera. Uh, or comma, no, don't. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Avila. So, or commands, okay? Co commands, sorry, that word is this in me. Commands, like, for example, um, let's see, hey, um, Stand up, we will read a book, okay? Stand up, we will read a book, that's a, that's a command. Um, that's pretty much, that's the, 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 the function number one, para dar órdenes, okay? O cuando ustedes están utilizando comandos en English, no de ropa, <laughs> sino que comando. <laughs> okay, los comandos no tienen sujeto, guys. So, for example, wake up now, wake up now. We don't have a subject here, okay? That's why those are called imperatives. Second use, imperatives to use giving, uh, imperatives to use giving a warning and prohibition. Okay, the imperatives guys are used to give warnings and prohibitions. For example, watch out, be careful, okay? Warning, prohibition, don't touch me. Okay, that's a prohibition. Don't touch me. Uh, let's see, what else? The, uh, give me another prohibition, guys. Una prohibición, prohibition. Don't run. Don't run, that's a pro prohibition. Don't run in the park, okay? Don't run in the park. Don't run in the park. Uh, okay, so that's prohibition or warnings. Imperatives are used to give an advice, okay? To give an advice. For example, guys, eh, I know advice, you associate advice con should. Ya vimos cómo dar los consejos en el should, pero esta es otra manera de dar un consejo, okay? So you can say, don't be panic, okay? Don't eat too much. No comas mucho, okay? Se puede decir no comas mucho, you shouldn't eat too much. De las dos maneras, ustedes están diciendo un advice, all right? Imperatives to give instruction. We use it to give instruction, okay? Directions. Instructions, directions, for example. Go straight ahead and then turn left. Go straight ahead and turn left, okay? Take the pill after a meal. Take the pill after a meal. That is an instruction. The first one was a direction, okay? Um, and the last use is to give, a, uh, to give a request. Teacher, pero ya estuvimos hablando de los requests. Ok, pero también acá se utiliza, en los imperativos también se utilizan para hacer un request, para hacer una petición. Please don't go, por favor no vaya, ok. Please reconsider, 
Okay? Please reconsider. Please don't give me extra hours. <laughs> Let me alone, please. Okay? I want to cry alone. <laughs> so those are requests. Okay? Peticiones. ¿Sí? Y si ustedes me preguntan, ok, teacher, entonces, ¿dónde entra esto? Esto quizás entra no a lo informal, pero tampoco es tan formal que se diga. Está como bien neutro, ¿ok? Así que si usted quiere escucharse súper formal, puede utilizar las otras estructuras para pedir algo. Si no, lo puede decir así, ¿ok? So, no es muy formal que se diga utilizarlo en imperativo, utilizando el imperativo como request. Como request, ¿ok? Questions about the functions of the imperatives, guys. Questions. Acá les traigo bien amplio eh, las funciones, guys. Las funciones están súper amplias acá con respecto al imperatives. Pero si ustedes se fijan, lo que estamos hablando de los imperativos, lo que vamos a hablar el día de ahora es solamente para dar instrucciones o direcciones, perdón, direcciones en este caso. Pero FYI, Sabrina, <ríe> FYI, I brought this information para que usted lo tenga ahí, para que usted sepa que los imperativos los utilizamos para todo esto también. Y and since it is an easy topic y usted no se confunde mucho, it's good to know, ¿ok? A diferencia de otros temas que yo no puedo generar, generalizarlos mucho, eh, porque realmente ustedes se me van a confundir. So I better know touch the topic. And I give it to you what I need to give it to you, ¿ok? No me extiendo, pero es porque no los quiero confundir. Pero este es un tema fácil, so FYI, I brought these functions. So no questions, right? So guys, um, here we have some positive and some negative uh, imperatives. For example, positive, we have move, ¿ok? Move. Any negative, guys, si usted quiere decir un negativo, usted puede decir don't, don't move, don't sit down, don't turn off the camera, don't open the microphone, don't open the door, don't close the window, ¿ok? Don't erase it. O usted puede decir do not, ¿ok? Do not, do not close the window, do not answer the phone, do not speak in Spanish, etc. Okay? So, positive. Remove the packaging, open the blue box, and connect the two wires. That's an instruction, right? Now, wash your hands. Okay? That's an advice. Please remain seated until the seatbelt sign is off. That's an advice. Kindly help yourself to fruit. That's an advice. Please be waiting when we arrive. That's a request. Okay. Negative. Do not dispose of battery in the trash. Don't forget your homework. Do not smoke in the toilets. Please don't forget your belongings. Don't be late. Okay. Si usted quiere agregarle un poquito de politeness. O un poquito, ok, de amabilidad a estos eh, a imperatives puede agregar la palabra please, ok. It's different to say don't be late uh, to say please don't be late, ok. Miren la diferencia. No vengan tarde si yo digo por favor no vengan tarde, guys, ok. Please don't be late. Don't be late. Okay, so that's a big difference. And that will be that's depending on the scenario situations that you will go through. Okay. Questions about these guys? Mr. Melgar. Good. You already that you already studied that, Mr. Melgar. As a second time. No, but if you have a, if you have a, a question, let me know, Mr. Melgar. Okay. Okay. No, ya yeah, para qué, teacher, si ya me dijo que ya lo vi. Yo tenía una pregunta. <laughs> no, Nelson, you have a question. Nelson, I am. Not... No, teacher. 
Okay, okay. So let's continue then, guys. Uh, do me a favor and well, we already we already did this. Let me get a second. Let me open the well, let me open the course book. Okay, guys, do me a favor and let's continue working on that. Okay. Page 40, 44. Page 44, okay? So, guys, we got more vocabulary here. Tenemos más vocabulario. Acá está, miren. Solamente le vamos a dar una pequeña review. We have go straight, okay? Wow. Go straight. Ah, go straight. Vaya ser recto, okay? Go straight. Uh, next one. Go past. Okay, go past. Go past. Eh, vaya y pase, all right? Go past. Turn left, turn left, turn right, okay? Go up, go up, go down the street. Go up the street, go down the street, okay? Go down, that's go down. Go up the street, okay? Walk down the street. Okay, go walk down, walk down the street. La calle es así, go down the street. Okay, go down the street. I mean, walk down the street. Go on for two blocks, two blocks. Here in, here in El Salvador, cuadras, right? Blocks. Go on for two blocks. Okay, okay, you need to walk six blocks wow that's too much so i take the bus okay two blocks three blocks six blocks just one blocks etc take the first left and take the first right okay la primera vuelta a la derecha ahí okay take the first left sorry take the first left and take the first right okay Oh, take the second uh, right, take the second left. And you continue like that, okay? So if you, have, if you have the chance to keep it in your phone, this is new vocabulary, guys. This is good phrases. Those are good phrases you can use to give directions, okay? So let's see. We'll have a role play here. Y vamos a tener 15 minutos para preparar este role play, guys. Pero antes de preparar este role play, please pay attention, guys. Antes de preparar este role play, vamos a practicar esta conversación, ¿ok? Ustedes pueden hacer una conversación similar ahorita. Para eso vamos a hacer parejas ahorita. Van a salir de los break room y van a hacer una, un role play, ¿ok? Solamente, guys, que ese role play no va a ser leído, ¿ok? No va a ser leído. So, usted lo tiene que decir, role play, ¿ok? Sin leerlo. So, va a ser un role play donde usted va a venir y va a dibujar un mapa, ¿ok? Un mapa donde usted le va a preguntar, por ejemplo, vamos a hacerlo bien, bien tropicalizado El Salvador, ¿ok? Va a tratar la manera usted... De, por ejemplo, que okay, yo quiero tener, quiero saber cómo llegar a, a la Plaza Libertad, ¿verdad? O quiero ir allá al, al mercado central, uh, o quiero ir al, al Paseo del Carmen. So you made the map, se escribe, hacen el mapa. La persona que le va a ayudar va a ser el mapa, ¿ok? No la persona que le va a preguntar. Y usted le va a decir... Hey, good morning. Could you please give me the direction direction to go to um, La Libertad, la, la, sorry, la, what is that? Downtown, San Salvador, downtown. Uh, good morning, sure. Y de ahí le da las direcciones. Así como está acá en esta conversación, va a ser súper fácil. ¿Ok? Lo único que sí le voy a pedir es que no lean, ¿ok? Que traten de hacerlo naturalmente. Y si ustedes se fijan, lo único que va a hacer acá en esta conversación es reemplazar la información. Super easy, guys, ¿ok? Like this one. Aquí tenemos el ejemplo, así lo vamos a hacer. No hay cómo perderse. Entonces, usted le va a pedir una dirección de un lugar en específico acá en El Salvador. Y la otra persona le va a decir, y la otra persona que le diga le va a hacer un pequeño mapa. Súper sencillo, ¿ok? Y le va a ir diciendo. Entonces... 
tomorrow, mañana cuando entremos acá a las clases, uh, lo que va a hacer es que usted va a compartir su pantalla o me va a mandar la imagen del mapa y usted como con el um, anotación, con la anotación o usted en el momento le puede ir dibujando. Con la opción de anotación le voy a poner una pantalla en blanco para que usted le vaya dibujando a la persona cómo irse a ese lugar. ¿Sí? No sé si me entiende lo que vamos a hacer, guys. La persona que va a la dirección va a ir haciendo un pequeño mapa. Chiquitito. ¿Ok? Chiquitito. <ríe> y lo va, se lo va a ir explicando la otra persona. Básicamente ese mapa va a entrar en el speaker B, mire acá, walk down the street and turn left, super easy, ok, pero va a ser tropicalizado El Salvador, all right. Question? I feel like a door, I feel like a door and the explorer. <laughs> yeah! Teacher, for example, what is the metro center? What is? Por ejemplo, where is the metro centro? Where is metro centro? Hey, good morning. Could you give me the direction to get to metro centro, please? Sure. And then you give the direction and that's it. Thank you. No problem. Okay. You don't need to read this. No tienen que leerlo. Sino que ve, tenerlo en la mente, guys. I know you can do it, okay? So, let's do it right now, guys. Let's do it. And... Let me see. One second. Let's prepare the conversation. Let's prepare it. We have until nine. Tenemos hasta las nueve para prepararla. Super easy, guys. Let me open all the breakout rooms, okay? We can join. Oh my God. Uh, Sabrina, you, you was with Angela, right? Estefania? With Patricia, Patricia Eugenia. Patricia Eugenia, ah, okay. Yeah. Room number six. Ah. No, room number five. <laughs> Sorry. And then Glenda is not assigned. Estefania, you are with. Estefania, do you remember who's your partner? Yo con Estefanías. ¿Sorry? Yo con Estefanías. No creo que iba con alguien más Estefanía. ¿Con quién iba Estefanía? Con Jaime. Con Jaime. Ok, ok, espérenme. Give me a second. Ok, lo, la voy a unir con Jaime. Y ahorita voy a hacer las otras parejas. Glenda, Sabrina, usted... La voy a mover y ahorita no le dé clic, sino que a la segunda vez. Ahorita no. Okay. Ahorita sí, Sabrina. Vaya, Glenda la voy a poner a usted con... Déjeme ver. Con Fátima, ¿ok? Glenda, la voy a mover ahorita. Vaya. Ok, gracias Glenda. Ahorita la muevo. I... Hello. Hello. I have a question. I have an answer. <laughs> Good. <laughs> And nice. then I, I don't have an answer. <laughs> uh -huh. in, in this exercise, I have to make, or we have to make one map or two maps? Just. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. No. Because it's, it's only map, I only, for example, I make a map, I only have the, the direction. Uh, in no, Jessica. Mm -hmm. You will uh, make the map. I mean, sorry for the camera. Uh, De Melissa will, ask, will be asking you for the direction, right? She doesn't know okay. the map. So you go. Let's let's suppose that you are in person, I mean, face to face right now, and you draw the map to her. So it, there is just one map. Okay, so the map that you draw, Christian, you can take a picture and you can send it to me and tomorrow I will present it. 
supposing, I mean, that you are showing this map to her. Yes? So it's just one map. Okay. okay. Thank Bye. You, teacher. Thank Bye, you. You're welcome. Bye. Give me direction to next year. Um, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, we need to uh, make a conversation first. Oh, first we need to draw. Both at the same time. <laughs> I mean, it is like, no, the conversation, I believe, because you start with the conversation. Good morning, Jaime. Uh, could you please give me the direction to go to... Oh my God. El Principito Park? Okay. Oh, so let me, sure. let, let me draw the Principito Park and let's, let me give you the direction, right? Usted lo okay. dibuja en el mismo momento. Super sencillo, Jaime, así. Yes, sí, medio. Know where is the Boulevard Merliot? <laughs> uh, mm, no. <laughs> no, okay. Sorry. Uh, you, you know where is the... Centro Comercial del Trébol. <laughs> oh, oh my God, don't be like that. Just say, okay, el pa the Principito Park is in, is in, let me see, in front of San Martin Restaurant. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, next to Monseñor, Monseñor Romero Street. Okay. Oh, um, ah, okay. So you can provide okay. many options. Okay, okay. And that's it. You sent you sent to me the picture about the, the about the map, or you present it tomorrow. It's all up to you. So keep the keep the map for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. I'll be back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Stephanie. Sí. Puede ser um, los términos que estaba usando la teacher. Next, next to. Ajá. Por eso tendrían ¿verdad? que haber otros locales. Ajá. Auxiliar, la trabaja en soluciones, sí. dice, pero eso queda donde? En, en, la, eh, en la calle tal. Acaba, eh, eh, la, la, es, es, eh, en inglés, eh, fir, Firwitz. En la primera calle Poniente. Primera 20, calle Poniente. 23, ajá. Ahí está el número. Es 2723. San, San Salvador. La primera Info calle 1. Poniente. El local sería. Háganlo eh, más fácil, guys. Háganlo más fácil. Vaya, ¿qué hay? ¿Un punto de referencia donde esté ahí? ¿Qué esté ahí? In, in from a UMA. Ah, ok. Puede decir in front of. Y le dice. O le puede decir cómo se llama esa calle. Ok, uh, that's the main street, that's the first street. O le puede dar ¿Cómo? otro otro que de verdad ella lo capte dónde es, ¿verdad? Sí, porque más sencillo, porque más ajá, sencillo, lo ¿verdad? que estábamos diciendo, ¿verdad? Si usted me dice la primera calle poniente, me quedo perdida. ¿verdad? Porque no tenemos esa costumbre de uh -huh. sabernos las calles. Entonces, tal vez un poco más de referencia, creo yo. Y... Nelson, hágase un mapa o en internet lo busca y mañana lo, lo presenta para que usted le dé las instrucciones de cómo llegar ahí o me lo manda a mí y yo lo presento. Hoy. Excelente. Ok. Very good, guys. Eh, Miss mis Patricia. Sí. Ok. Ok, Melissa. Entonces, entonces.